looking at me? I think you are. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is a re-upload. I uploaded this video like two hours ago, and then I took it down after two hours. It's missing the final 15 minutes of the video, and I was like, I talk a lot in there. And super important, eat your fucking cheese. Eat this cheese. Thanks for watching the re-upload. Thank you. Eat some fucking cheese. Yeah, you beautiful bitch. <laughs> Please share the video. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTube. We're here with another classic. We're watching Russian Badger today. He posted a new video, but I wanted to wait a few days after he posted it before I react to it because I don't want to be cringe, like one of those people who like react to it right away and mess up the algorithm for the main video. So I waited, and here it is, my reaction to his newest video, for Lethal Company, which is a game I've actually played here on the channel too. If you want to see me play in it, it's here. And also support the original video, link to the description below is the original. Don't be a dickhead, okay? Be cute. Be spicy. Support the original. Leave a like and a comment on that. And while you're here, leave a like and a comment on this video too. Let's get straight into it, shoddy. I stream every single day over on Twitch at Alicia X Life. If you're currently watching Alicia X Death, Alicia X Life is my Twitch. Let's go! Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. I heard a squelching noise. <laughs> if that minefield was also located on a shooting range. Okay. Oh god. Oh, inside of a haunted. <gasps> if you've ever seen Alicia versus Turret, it was a very real moment of me crying. There's a thing. Okay, I'm already going on my first tangent of the video. Enjoy. There's a thing in the game where that's called a teleporter. We can stand on the teleporter and it teleports you to a random part of the map. And it teleported me into this room. When you walk out of the room, there's two turrets on both doors. So it's like, I just started crying in anxiety. I was like, guys, can anyone hear me? There's turrets. Guys. And my friend's perspective, you could hear me in the distance going, oh, I don't know. They're like, Alicia, come over here. And I'm like, there's turrets. And they're like, we're not coming over. There's turrets. But I don't... Yeah. <laughs> and when you teleport, you don't keep your flashlight. You don't keep your radios. You don't keep shit. So you just go there butt-ass naked. And there's turrets. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, bro? What am I supposed to do? Haunted house crawling with monsters. <laughs> demands of capitalism. Is this what minimum wage is like in the United States? Oh, God. <laughs> As a $10 game made by a furry in his basement, I am morally obligated to play it, so my kneecaps remain unshattered and my mailbox unpipe bombed. Of course, Hottie so. drops that. He's like, he's a furry too, Lamar. <laughs> I know I'm late to the party. I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure you, this one is most definitely worse. Hey, Bada, is this sound... Okay, I thought he was going to sell us on it. Yo, this video, better. This content, better. My dick, better. <laughs> Bro, it is with a... Oh. No, we're worse. <laughs> this might be Le Crange. Oh. <laughs> Sound like an air horn to you? And if you don't mind, I'm just going to yap about it for 40 minutes because I'm dying to tell you why I'm in love with this yeah, YouTube poop of a game that's away, that's what I do. Call of Duty. I really do love going to work. <laughs> <laughs> to warn you in advance... Did... Hold on, what? ...of a game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do love going to work. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way that ladder killed them. <laughs> to warn you in advance... I didn't know the ladder could kill you. <laughs> Like, I beat Maddie to death with a stop sign, but shout out Maddie, he's the one editing this video. And then after I killed him, I started whispering to his body, shh, 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 it's okay. It's okay, you fucking deserved it, you bitch. You fucking deserved it, shh, 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 it's okay. It's okay, no one needs to know. And then my friends came over and like, what, Maddie's dead, what happened? I was like, I don't know. <gasps> Something must have got him, I have no idea, I just found him. <laughs> And then as soon as my friends walked away, I go, that's right, I fucking got you, you bitch. <laughs> uh, just so you know, he hit me with a stop sign once. He must die for his crimes. 
Chance, this video is sponsored by Swouse. My brand new merch collection on sale for a limited time, but I'm not gonna tell you about it for like eight more minutes because I don't want to interrupt the story. So let's get started. Alrighty, okay, so I guess I'm buying the Swouse merch. Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. Need to find it. <gasps> Wait a second. Past is in the video? The homie past is in the video? Wait a second. <laughs> oh, pasta! It's this company called The Company that puts a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. <laughs> money. Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by the company. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. The money required to avoid uh. your execution is called quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how scary things get, it is the only thing that matters. Hey, what's up, man? Uh. You know you're gonna be summarily executed into the void of space <laughs> if you don't get a quota, right? <laughs> this may seem like just another... Yeah, but why is it funny? <laughs> Boring five-letter word, Q-U-O-T-A, who cares? But the more you play this game, the more you realize it is so much more than that. You will experience horrors beyond your comprehension in the name of quota. Yo, why he herbal? <laughs> <laughs> you will betray your best friends in the name of quota. What? Shut, what? shut up, about your kitchen subs. Shut up, fuck. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's getting you. Oh my you. god. It's getting you. Oh it's getting you, dog. Sorry. Start the ship. Start the fucking ship. Put the keys in the ignition, please. <laughs> Hear me loud and clear, and I mean loud and clear when I say it's quota or die. Yes, yeah, in the zip lock. Call that shit loud and clear. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bust it down, Thadiana. Yeah. I want to see you bust down on the game. Pick it up. Now break that shit down. Yeah. <laughs> the quota is achieved by stealing, repurposing random junk from, quote, abandoned industrialized moons that I can assure you were abandoned for a reason. Uh-oh. Yo! Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! Holy shit, the worm! I've never actually seen someone get eaten by it. I had my friends die while I was in game with them, and they got eaten by the worm, but I didn't see it physically. I was too busy screaming and running. Holy shit! Called scrap is fantastic because it makes absolutely no sense. What makes no <laughs> sense is this nuclear-powered reactor I'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky. A jar of pickles can be worth more than an engine. A lamp can be worth more than a nuclear reactor. Okay, but hear me out. Pickles. Highly preservable sustenance. <laughs> Machinery? Eh. Pickles? That might be the fucking vibe. <laughs> Even the bodies of your dead teammates technically have a value. And True. In case you weren't already right? impressed, each and every one of you yeah. is worth five whole credits. Why does this game's economy <laughs> let you <laughs> trade five <laughs> human beings <laughs> for a jar of pickles? <laughs> is that not what you're worth, though? Chat, do you feel like you're worth, five of you are worth a jar of pickles? I'd say at least 25 of you are worth a jar of pickles. I'm not sure if five is, though. <laughs> five is asking a pretty high price. <laughs> Chat. Sorry, I'm just taking a massive shit on you guys. Don't mind me. <laughs> no, that seems about right. Oh, see, now there's somebody who's lying to themselves. I'm worth 100 jars of pickles. Oh, honey. Overestimating your value. Overestimate. See, I think I'm worth a much, as much as, like, maybe a stop sign. I think I'm a stop sign's worth. <laughs> I bought you a gift. <laughs> What's up? A jar of poop? Pickles? <laughs> Those are... It's got to potentially. Value is important, <laughs> but weight is even more important, because the heavier something is, and the more it drains your stamina and hurts your regen. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to keep an eye on. You can close doors on them, right? A hundred of us is one singular pickle. I like that chat. Good shit. They can't open doors? Oh, they can't open doors! Oh my god! Dipshit, <laughs> dumbass spider can't even open a goofy odd uh, doors to open doors. Oh god, the spider has opposable thumbs. <laughs> the five basic... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, oh yeah. 
<laughs> movements you'll make while scrapping i like to call spidey or dipsy dancing interacting pointing loaf i saw a monster out there scanning which is super I hate it because it's adorable. <laughs> that was so cute. I saw a monster out there. Interacting, Dude. pointing. Loaf, I saw a monster out there. Out there. Scanning, <laughs> which is super important for spotting loot so and bad cute. guys, so spam that shit. And why? Yapping. I think it goes without saying that yapping is mandatory if you hope to survive. Aren't preachers like professional yappers? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. 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 we're going, we're going, we're going. We're going. Dodging, <laughs> yapping. Yeah. Most crap is one-handed, so to speak, because it doesn't uh -huh. restrict your character's action at all. This is a little horrifying, but oh. it's kind of soothing at the same time. Other crap is two-handed, which means you can't access your inventory, climb ladders, or pick up anything else with a perfect example being... Oh, yes! Yo, scream it as loud as you can. I want to hear it as loud as you can. Soda! <laughs> Yo, you actually had... Soda! 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 There's all kinds of quirkiness when it comes to scratch. Gaming with the boys has never been so wholesome, dude. Crap, <laughs> and the apparatus is a prime example. This mini nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting, so once you take it, all the electricity is gone, which means no more lights and an immediate spike in radiation levels. I love grabbing this thing because it makes everybody's day worse. Yeah, pretty big fan. I grab this thing and I ruin everybody's day, me grabbing my car keys after 12 cores lights. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! This episode of Russian Badger is brought to you by drinking and driving. Maybe don't do it, but if you do, be good at it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Man, I wish this beer would stop telling me to drive. <laughs> Who fucks pulled the battery? Dude, I was. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was by myself. I was by myself picking shit up, and I was like, you know what? At least I can see where I'm going and make my way back. And then all the fucking lights turned off. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Anyway, you can call me an idiot for using it as the world's largest, heaviest, most expensive flashlight, but my goals are beyond your understanding. Hey, hold up. Hey, I got a big flashlight for the crew. Get out of the way. Big flashlight coming through. Big flashlight boy on the move. <laughs> expensive flashlight. Plenty of scrap has use beyond <laughs> simply turning into credits to meet quota, like keys that unlock doors. I got a key for moments like this. Hi. Oh, did oh, it scared me. <laughs> I am not built for this game. Absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing, never mind. For my personal favorite, stop signs, so I can beat the shit out of bugs using stolen government infrastructure. I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter the <laughs> junk you collect, it is that's so stupid, but I had to. Like, I, had to <laughs> I wish you would. I wish an anomaly would right now. Pull up, bitch. Oh, what? You thought you saw him? I got a stop sign. <laughs> Completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is where the terminal comes in. Terminal is the second most important word in this game next to quota, because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever on the dash, but selecting where you want to go is the terminal's business. Typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the weather is, and trust me, weather in this game can be a real kick in the dick. Once you've made up your mind, you're typing route, then where you want to go, like the company building, so you can cash out your scrap. Much like all things in Lethal Company, the HQ is also trying to kill you. Turning in your scrap to the window and ringing a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold hard credits, but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will uh. also be collected. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Assuming you survive the tentacle monster, it's time for payday. Ah! Oh, I need a I mean, paycheck. The size of this paycheck not only depends on what scrap you delivered, but when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, they'll pay you 100% full price for your items, but any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction of their value, sometimes 30 cents on the dollar. This is a bunch of math I don't care about. Sell whatever you want on any day you want, as long as you meet that almighty number called quota. Assuming you did. I did not know that. <laughs> but I never used the terminal because my friends were always like, I got this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm like, I'm just a passenger princess. You know what I mean? I just sit in this passenger seat. I'm like, okay, where are we going, besties? I don't, 
I don't do shit. <laughs> but yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Did that. Holy shit, we can finally start having fun. Now that you're no longer a little piss baby and you understand quota, let's get down to serious business. <laughs> With newfound credits come newfound options, a big one being moons. Some moons are distant, like the infamous Titan, that costs money if you want to land on. They are both high risk and high reward, because even though they cost credits, these moons have the best crap and the scariest monsters defending that crap. Hey, what's up, oh, bitch? God. Oh, God. Freddy Fazbear. What's up, Freddy bitch? Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Back up! Back up, bro! You're moving the trash! <laughs> Anyone else get coma energy, bro? <laughs> Anyone else? Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I, saw, I saw four people lined up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How much money did we pay to travel okay. to this planet? The other major option for it. burning credits? Items. And I know you're gonna ask me, so let me tell you in advance that you cannot buy beans. Hey, you want some beans? Beans? Beans. What, kind of beans? what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> getting what more deep fried. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the Where's my food dog <laughs> I mean, you can download a mod if you really need beans. I think you've noticed by now. People love modding this shit. Dog, I think I downloaded the whole <laughs> video company. <laughs> and who needs beans when you got swouse? My brand new limited time merch that took me two years to get right. And I'll tell you why. You see, I'm one of those perpetually cold MFs that's always shivering his ass off. And that makes Carhartt hoodies my very best friend. But the problem mm -hmm. with wearing Carhartt is that it makes me feel like a fraud. You got soft beans. You got soft if you're wearing a Carhartt hoodie and it's clean, you are not a motherfucker that should be wearing a Carhartt hoodie. I do this shit for a living. I'm not forklift certified and I've never stepped foot on a construction site, so I've got no business wearing the uniform of a guy that works 37 hours a day. Okay, so I personally did not realize that those are the motherfuckers who drive forklifts to wear that stuff, so I was just sitting here in mass confusion. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else not know the apparel? Cause I did not. 85 hours a motherfucking day. So to break free of this five hours prison, a motherfucking day. Every hoodie you can imagine, from streetwear to activewear, over the past two years, and I found the final form of hoodie. I didn't like cotton hoodies because they stretch out, lose shape, and gather those beads of lint. I didn't like polyester hoodies because sitting in synthetic fabric workout gear all day made me feel like a piece of shit. And my Swax hoodie is the perfect blend of primarily cotton with a touch of polyester so it's comfortable, never bees lint, never loses shape. Oh. <laughs> Look how happy he is. I'm getting one. I already bought, like, a recently I bought a sweater for, um, I bought, like, 400 bucks with a merch for whatchamacallit. Glitch Studios, so like amazing digital circus in murder drones. I'm not gonna get a badger hoodie, why not? Fuck it. Looks fit check fresh as the day you bought it. Fresh. fresh. The design is inspired by my favorite part of every day, which is the time I spend doing dumb shit with my mocap suit and the source engine. Tossing shit, breaking shit, hitting myself in the head with a brick. All the things that make you want to say swouse. My cousin Tyler did such a great job with the designs that we decided to make t-shirts and mouse pads too. I mean, swouse pads. I am so committed to the quality of this merch that the first thousand of you to order the entire three item set at the link below will receive a handwritten thank you note from my own goddamn fingers. I'm gonna break my hands doing this. You've got two weeks from today to place an order with items arriving at your door in about three to four months. I know that's a little bit of a wait, but it makes sure that everybody who wants a hoodie can get a hoodie. Unlike that's super fair those limited merch drops to sell out immediately and only a handful of people get the item that's so fucking stupid good strategy for him. the quality of my products you can cancel or refund at any time i will give you your money back and i am begging you to place an order at the link below because this shit is too good to miss out on use code badger for 10 percent off and thank you for hearing me out no problem moving on which by the way if you guys are wondering i never edit out or skip ad segments i think they're super fucking important to the original creator and though my reaction channel were pieces of shit uh <laughs> I think it's super stupid to ever skip through someone's ad read. Uh, unless the ad read is way from the fucking past and it no longer applies to them anymore and they make no money off of it. But, merch. And also, this is recent. So, you know. Is what it is, shoddy. On from swouse to more serious items, we gotta talk about flashlights. Because in Lethal Company, you live and die by the flashlight. Who put a flashlight in the cabinet with 1% battery? I'm gonna... Alicia, don't use code BADGER. Give him full...
Oh no, my chat is stupid. Oh no, they're dumb. <laughs> oh no. Shut the fuck up, chat. <laughs> Crack your fucking skull open. If you don't have a flashlight to spot mines, turrets, and monsters lurking in the dark, ready to nay nay your ass into an early grave, you are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine in here somewhere. Wow, there's also this. No! Because <laughs> no flashlight, no bread alert. These things are so critical that if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn, I really miss that flashlight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dipshit version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery, and if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items, including flashlights, are bought via the terminal and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flash- I wonder if he played the version with Twitch integration or not, because, like, chat can vote for what loadouts you get and stuff. Flashlights, everybody's and got if there's a extra monsters what's or not. What's bad, I wonder if he did that. Talkie is definitely divisive. It allows you to communicate with anybody else anywhere on the map that is also holding a walkie-talkie, but my friends are so loud that I just can't use them. Well, all of you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Items can range from useless novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner? See, my problem is when I use the walkie-talkie, it's just coma going. A pair of jeans that fit just right. Cold beer on a Friday night. Little bit of chicken fry. <laughs> on repeat. On a repeat. And nothing else. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't be free. I'm like, hey, Koba, where are you right now? A little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night. You'll hear like somebody else like Maddie, like, hey, Alicia, uh, we're at the ship right now. Blah, blah. I think there's a monster coming up in your hallway. And I'm like, okay, cool. And all you hear is Koma, like, still singing throughout it. And, oh. fuck about a toilet? Two items with situational utility, like performance. That is the longest drag I've seen in my life. And it's like, oh. flashbacks in this. A single Same beer. Situational slash possibly useless category. Even though it's funny to flashbang something with eight eyes because it theoretically hits them four times as hard, my homies never deploy it correctly on any monster, spiders included. He's got a flashbang. To your right, to your right. There's a mine as well. <laughs> mop. Mop. Hey, look, I see. You, maybe it worked. Uh, I think it died. Oh. You killed it, dog. It's dead. I'm walking past this one. <laughs> <laughs> the only item more likely to betray your teammates. <laughs> I'm in anxiety, Bean. <laughs> That a flashbang is a ladder because no matter how sturdy it is, it is only as safe as the guy that's holding it. Just fucking drop, drop it all. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Just a bad... Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, not so funny now, are you? You want something truly useful? Buy a teleporter, which lets you yoink any player you are currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over uh, Bada's shoulders. <laughs> this is how are you doing this? this? Very important to do that, because the company deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you leave behind, but as long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, I still don't... Uh, okay, Whoa. who's getting excited? Stop, stop, stop! Whoa. There's even an inverse teleporter, which beams you from the ship into a random part of the facility. Remember guys, I told you guys that story at the start of this video? Guys! There's two turrets! Guys! Help! As scary as that sounds. Press the yellow button? I'm a little okay. bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Alright, that is horrifying <laughs> that all of them are now gone. The only major downside here is that items do not travel with you. Yeah, so they it's don't. Best to use it for body retrieval or getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey, teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. I'm not teleporting his dumbass. <laughs> Wasting resources. I'm looting other sections of the map. Ooh, engine. <laughs> oh my! The scream! <laughs> the I scream! Yo, loaf, are you good? <laughs> loaf, loaf, can you hear me? Is there a loaf still alive in here? 
Oh. That answers my question. I think I'm done. Yeah, they were good. It's time to move on from <laughs> items to cooperation. Because if you understand teamwork, it'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah, open it. No, the other one that says lock, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> It goes without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company, but if you ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Oh, you know what? I think he's a piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, you'll need to trust and cooperate with your teammates. Gary put it there. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's going to go off. So no I way. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what? <laughs> The level of trust is crazy. I thought you said this was tech. I thought you said it was tech. No, Tough not. choices is a fundamental part of what makes lethal companies so addicting. And I'll illustrate this with a door. Let's say you've got a teammate being chased by a monster rushing towards the ship. And you've got two choices. Close the door and let your teammate die, but keep yourself and all your other teammates safe from the monster. Close it on, Digi. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, baby! Yeah! <laughs> or alternatively, open the door for your sprinting teammate to potentially save his life, but run the risk of the monster getting inside and killing all of you. Open up! Open I need to show you guys a clip at some point. <laughs> we had like a dinosaur come in, and it was Koma and I standing next to each other hiding, and it didn't see us. And I said something. I said something stupid. And he goes, shut the fuck up, and instantly got eaten. And it's just, mm. it is sweet music to my ears, because I'm the one who fucking talked first, but he is the one who suffers. Open up, 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 The bees! The fucking bees! Oh my god. The reason why Lethal Company is incredible, because weighing risks and constantly making life or death decisions for both you and your teammates is always exciting. Oh, here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come. Close the door. Better hurry up, better hurry up. Oh, you left them behind. You left Gary behind. Oh, no. I think it's Hearing the screams is so fucking sad. Beneficial to have some <laughs> pessimists on the team that may be a little negative, but also keep your feet on the ground with pragmatic decision making, especially with credit spending. Did you did you spend five hundred fucking dollars? <laughs> <laughs> but you can't forget to balance out these negative players with hopeful optimists that bring enough energy and levity to keep the whole team going. I'm ready to work for minimum wage. <laughs> the teamwork dynamic radically changes if you have the big lobby mod enabled, which is extremely popular and changes the team from a max of four players to forty players. And the more players you have, the less teamwork is important. If you have a lobby exceeding 10 players, it's gonna feel like you picked up an entire Menards worth of contractors on the way to that moon. Smoking on the Menards 2x4 <laughs> bag. Bro, Menards 2x4s aren't 2x4s anymore. They're 1.5 by 3.5s. <laughs> five hours a motherfucking day. I do this shit for a living. You got soft hands. You got soft hands. 85 hours a motherfucker. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> There's too much alpha energy in one room. Can you imagine the stench of all that man meat in there? Cooking. Cooking. Bathing. Sautéing. God damn. Now that I'm thinking about it, everything changes when you go beyond the default four players. A horror game isn't much of a horror game when you outnumber the monsters and all you can hear <laughs> is chatter about George W. Bush. What were you saying about George Bush earlier before you cut off? I was talking about my morning ritual. Uh, every morning, I wake up, I salute the flag, I take a shit, get out of bed, and then I... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Take a shit, get out of bed? Alright. Kiss a photo of George Bush every morning. Herschel Walker and W. It's about time we got to the monsters anyway, because each one being unique adds yet another layer of complexity and quite frankly fun, if you ask me. Oh! <laughs> wait, somebody's on the oh, wait a minute. When you land on a moon, the day starts at 8.02 a.m. and it's imperative that you move as fast as possible. Go, 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 go. 725 an hour, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> let's go!
Without him, baby. If you ain't first, you're last. Get up that ladder, boy. <laughs> the ship will automatically leave you behind at midnight, and as the day goes on, more and more monsters will spawn. Let's go. Yo, what the? You might think you're built different uh -huh. after easy looting in the early game, but once the sun goes down, your likelihood of getting G-checked by a monster goes way up. Damn, I'm good. Out of there. I'm built different, man. I'm built different. That's right. I made it. I'm built distinctly, bro. Damn. Distinctly. That's crazy. Karma's gonna hit him so hard, but. <laughs> 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 Don't die! Please don't die! <laughs> you know what? That was a very distinct death, buddy. Don't you fucking worry. I love how distinctly you, <laughs> you ate shit. The first monster to keep in mind? Gravity. I'm willing to bet that gravity kills more interns than any other monster, and the number of times I get accused of pushing people is ridiculous. Oh, oh. shit! No! <laughs> what? I didn't what? push him. I mean, I guided him, but I didn't push him. <laughs> mm, I'm a sussy. I'm gonna be real. Okay, okay, fine, fuckface. Spell suspicious. You cannot spell suspicious. All right. S. You go first. E. <laughs> Turrets are self-explanatory, but mines have a little quirk. By this point, you've already seen so many deaths to landmines that they just aren't funny anymore. Mamma mia! But what's interesting about them is that they don't detonate until you step off of them. You have to be on it. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be on it! So if you ever accidentally trigger one, you can save lives by getting your teammates out of the blast radius before you step off. <laughs> Some monsters what a real you can negotiate one. with, like hoarding bugs, that will completely leave you alone if you drop them loot. Hey, come here, fuckface. There you go. No, no, no. There, there. Get out of here. He's see, he's excited. That was a good trade. It truly does not Aww. matter what that loot is. Bada literally gave one a gun, and it immediately left him alone. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take your I'm shotgun. Negotiate. Negotiate. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Be a real one. No, oh my god. I was so scared. He's gonna instantly go to a mimic door. I was scared. <laughs> because if you try to pull that shit with Bracken, he may not be so amused. I'm gonna give him some Coca Cola and we'll negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> Bracken is the most beloved entity in the game that prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, if you call him Freddy Rizbear again, I'm gonna ban you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, my boy? Oh. Oh, my God. God. Bro, Holy shit! You'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his trap house if you get too close or stare too long, but if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Okay. I see that I'm not alone anymore. Did Bracken come back? Okay, 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 he came back. He shed his shorts. <laughs> and your Bracken come out to play. Yay. No. Oh, oh my oh. god, so the monster interactions are just horse shit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing short of a death sentence. Dude, fuck what? thumpers, bro. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 What no. is that speed? I feel like Gary would be so hyped about his movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math required to understand her behavior could probably stump Richard Fine. Oh, girl. Fuck this. I, I... Alright, so should I be scared or... So one thing I learned while playing this... So I saw her, and I realized if you never turn around, you'll never die to her. So you'll just keep hearing her and shit, but like, just don't turn around. So what I did was, is I saw her, everyone's like, oh, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, right? So what I did was, is I went back to the ship, I stared at a wall, and did nothing else for the rest of the day. <laughs> and it worked! She didn't kill me, so, you know, positives. <laughs> or not. She's just breathing. She ran away, cause she's a scared little coward. See you later, chicken shit, dumb mad child. But for the most part, each <laughs> yep. monster has flaws yeah. for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's another one! Oh, God. If you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Chad, I'm gonna say it super quietly. What the dog doing? Oh, God. Oh, look at me, I proc on sound. <laughs> Stupid ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the interaction. And I think Coilhead takes the cake for me. Ah! Oh, I could not get out. Coilheads are invincible. I jumped. I jumped. My 
tracking's off. I jumped. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was flying. I was but can only move when you aren't looking at them. So making sure one of your teammates is always making eye contact is crucial. Hold E and look quick. Ooh. Oh. Cooperation, to bring that up again, is the best way to deal with them. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell them, that's also a solution. Uh, it's doors. Well, can you close doors on them? Oh, on the block? No, they open doors. All things can open doors. Oh, sh <laughs> That's Do crazy. Go in there. That's crazy. Do not go in there. Do not go in there. <gasps> no. Alright. All right. So what happened? You, you all right. So um you wanna talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Counterintuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that some I think we had a moment where Don was playing with us for the first time. And uh we like saw one. I think we saw one of the monsters. I forget which one it was. And we're all like, "Oh fuck no, fuck no, no no, get out, no, get out, get out, get out, get out!" Right? And he goes, "I ain't scared of no bitch. I ain't scared of nothing. Let me at him." And it just all you hear is him going, "Yeah!" And it cut off because he died in the middle of saying it. And we're like, "All right, man. I guess he's scared of some bitch. Damn." <laughs> Somebody else will maintain the icon. Should have been scared of something. Like, damn. You a whole bitch. Like, oh. oh. oh wait. I the other way. Fire escape. Oh, <laughs> oh the cut-off scream! The cut-off oh scream! Oh my god! No. I, got a, I, I, I got a single frame of that scream. If you prefer oh fight god. to flight, bashing monsters to death with shovels or stop signs is an option in Lethal Company. But also bashing your friends, like I do. <laughs> but this strategy is much more suited to a modded lobby with 10 guys running around than a default lobby with four. Get his ass, fellas. Oh, oh fuck. Nice. This game was clearly designed. I as might have also one time when we were beating one, started hitting Azu by accident, my editor for my other channel. I was like, dunk, dunk, dunk. And then one bites the dust. Sorry, not actually that though. But <laughs> and... I was like, oh my god, it's beating my health! It's taking my health! And I was like, oh. Uh, yeah. The monster took your health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that I missed the monster. <laughs> I fucking, I killed him, man. I hit him square in the fucking face, too. Because the monster moved, dude. It moved. And I didn't think it was going to move, so I just went skunk right in his face. <laughs> as a run away from the monsters game, <laughs> not a space hulk, the monsters run away from me game. He is cooked. Oh, I'm gonna gobble him. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry oh, death scream. <laughs> 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 oh no! Tom and Jerry looking ass death. All right, I'm gonna go jump into the ocean. You guys be good, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of monsters are invincible. Most can out DPS you, and it always feels better to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem with a stop sign. Will he take a whole ass large axle? I want to see him take anything. It. All right, all right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, back up, back up. Oh, he took it! He took the whole ass large axle! <laughs> He seemed pretty oh, happy about he's it. so You've happy. Seen in the, video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a commander, so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the radar. Open. I call them the pussy. Whoever stays back to do that shit, pussy. <laughs> you scared ass bitch. My favorite thing though is the person who stays there, and then they see hear monsters around them, and they see big ass monsters pull it up to the ship. As my favorite thing ever. I'm like, ooh. You shitty bitch, you thought you were safe. Oh, you thought you were safe, but you're not safe, bitch. Uh. <laughs> secure doors, teleport players, and communicate on the radio. They're essentially the one driving the boat, having both great power and great responsibility. Let me drive the boat. His ass is being taken. Do not give him the keys. 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 The wheel. What's that shit? <laughs> 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 
home. Because if they ever decide to take off mm -hmm. early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the ship. And I have never seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? Before beating Digi with we are lining Digi up and beating him with a brick. Get his ass! 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 Digi, you are such a stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? We had thousands. Digi, we're gonna beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. I say that we revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. I I think. W. <laughs> Oxygen is a privilege. <laughs> True shit. Uh, those need to, uh, those need to go away. Yes. 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 Give me them ten, <laughs> ten bullets, <laughs> did you? I don't feel respected here. Why do I need rever? Wait, where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave the disrespectful space. Final question I'm sure you're asking, is lethal company scary? And the answer entirely depends on settings. If you were in the big lobby mob like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this. You only get salt, pepper, ketchup, a little bit of poop. Uh, you know, the usual. No, it's not. Fuck. <laughs> what? Scary. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not a scary game. But if you're playing default four player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or at the very least unsettling, the game is. I never thought I'd unironically say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skulker is about to bully me and tell me. <laughs> My immersion, bro. Alicia, delete your selfies off Instagram. My immersion, bro. I don't want my VTubers having fucking skin, bro. <laughs> Deal with that word a lot in my life. <laughs> me i smell like beans for saying that word but hear me out you're playing the kv2 you smell like fucking beans dog it's <laughs> <laughs> so cute why is he so cute like a discord call which feels flat and 2d the proximity voice chat in this game makes it feel 3d with both distance and direction oh, you're above me you're up there <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking haunting <laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with 3D surround sound that temporarily tricks you into feeling like you are in a place talking to other people. I oh, think I got my swagger back! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was deep in the facility down a labyrinth of hallways and my flashlight was almost dead. Feel like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. I called out for help from my teammates, but I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead. Let's try this. Can anybody help me get out of the facility? I'm just totally lost. Hello? I have never felt Aww. so completely alone in my entire life. You get so comfortable saying things out loud and hearing things said back in a 3D space that when you say something... Yeah, my anxiety hit a 10 when I was alone and teleported in. I'm gonna be real with you. I like the buddy system as much as I possibly can, also because this makes for a better content, but like, when I'm alone, I start crying and shit, I'm not okay. And don't hear anything back, it is haunting. Your flashlight is dead, the night is getting darker, and the only noises you can hear are monsters approaching you from all angles. Okay, I'm hearing big movement. Honestly, at this point, he didn't see me. No, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. Just leave the facility, Badger. What do you think I'm trying to do? I oh, classic fucking Twitch chat. <laughs> this is the most Twitch chat comment I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> Have you tried just leaving? Have you tried living? Maybe you shouldn't do blah blah blah. What the fuck do you think is happening? <laughs> Oh, do you, th do you think I just want to dick around and walk in circles? Did you really think? Ooh! <laughs> the relatability. <clears throat> the relatability. <laughs> I can't find my way out. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that oh, was God. such a labyrinth. There was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. <laughs> a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't keep up. I just, I just hit retweet and I keep scrolling. <laughs>
<laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. <laughs> sure we are talking 100% yep. forever alone. You are a dead man walking that they will never find. I am blown away that this game was made by one guy, and you won't understand the true extent of his goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B on things, and just, I eat it, and it disappears. <laughs> they have Roblox in their Twitter handle. Do they have, like, cool Roblox horror games, too? Like, the, the furry who made it? I don't know. There's a lot of really, really dope-ass Roblox devs. I've just never played Roblox in my life, though. <laughs> don't eat the Try. toilet, either. That's just gross. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? To see how Lethal Company evolves in the future, because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. We're getting that pirate bait alien no, 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 shish no, no, kebab for 47 yeah. money. I'm moving different. Oh my God. <laughs> the introduction of the double barrel shotgun from this nutcracker monster has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous than a police officer hearing a falling acorn. He's got a gun! He's got Okay, but if y'all have not watched the police officer with the acorn situation, I need you to take the time, the three minutes of video, to go watch that. Motherfucker, start doing it. Somersault, get it down! Somersault, somersault, I've been hit! Somersault, gets up, I've been hit! Takes out the gun, plow, 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 right into the back windshield. I'm hit! I can't feel my legs! He's like hiding behind a car. I can't feel my legs. Oh. <laughs> Bro, rolls Damn. like Elden Ring. Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmen. <laughs> it would be funny if it wasn't true. The, the, by the way, the person in the back seat, the person that they like handcuffed for this, by the way. Like, <laughs> first. Like, one, like, he is alive and he's fine. He, like, ducked down when the back windshield was getting shot. But he also was searched. And handcuffed. What the fuck did that officer think? The officer, by the way, also, like, uh, resigned after that, too. So no, the acorn cop is gone. The streets are safer. <laughs> and you know what? It takes one fucking squirrel on one day to fuck with that man's life again. Bro's gonna see a squirrel look at him holding an acorn and be like, You ruined my fucking career. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Mates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. I guarantee it. That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally. They just die. <laughs> I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me and he pulled out an electron microscope. What? <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. What's even funnier is that there's a new <laughs> item called the dramatic mask that is specifically designed for this purpose of turning teammates evil. As in, if I didn't know about this. This is cool. If you hold it up to your face, you can literally turn into a monster that attacks your teammates like a zombie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, it's JoJo Stono. Oh, not so Stono. It's JoJo's Phantom Mask. Holy shit. It's the JoJo Stone Mask. Oh my god, I could be Dio. I could be a certified problem. And even that thing is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hands. I got, I got five copies of the other one. In the hands of a reasonable teammate, the outcomes are incredibly positive because the ability to kill a monster in a split second will get you out of a jam and save lives. But putting the power of God in the hands of an unreasonable teammate, the outcomes may not be so positive. All right, Chet, you can say it's an SCP reference. But for me... It'll always be a JoJo's reference. As a proper, well-initiated me- <laughs> As a meme. A proper, well-initiated weeb. It's who I am. If I can't make a JoJo's reference in every single one of my videos, then the video is dead to me. Do you understand? <laughs> like, yeah. It might be an SCP. I ain't gonna say it's not. You are right. It can definitely be both. But to me, it'll always be a fucking JoJo's reference. <laughs> Always.
And don't you dare get it twisted, feller. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. I eat bullets. I don't give a fuck. Let me have it. Bro? <laughs> you just had to G-check him on the head <laughs> The shotgun just talks to me sometimes. You can't blame it on Is me. He Please, give me the shotgun. I'm normal. I can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun when my teammates are unarmed. Little girl coming after me. I'm fucked. I have a gun. Little girls aren't good against guns. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only I can see her, and when she reaches me, my head explodes. Oh, it's cool. Your head exploded now. You're chilling. Wait a second. Solutions, man. No problem. No problem, bro. We got you. I just wanted to tell him that I would solve his problem so badly. There's even a safety mechanic on this thing, because when it's loaded with the safety off, it can randomly fire, and not all of us agreed on safety rules. What happened down here? So my safety was on, and I didn't manage to shoot, but Ooh. thankfully, Mickey saved me. Hey, you can just hey, never turn the safety problem. on. That solves your problem. Safety? Always off. I am a responsible <laughs> If I make it back, oh no, I do that. great. <laughs> oh no. Sigrid is locked the fuck in. Oh, she was not oh, tolerating oh, any tomfoolery, oh, all right? Oh, Sigrid oh, is so locked in. Like, how is this possible? Oh, <laughs> we are reaching levels of locked in we thought previously unattainable. Oh, I was so fucking locked in. <laughs> Sigrid, you fucking oh, shot me the back of the head. If you were any more locked in, it would be considered a prison sentence. What makes this especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is massive, and it has no problem clapping multiple targets at once. Okay. Yo, come outside real quick. What? Damn, That's so, so many people at once! Die from that. My most recent play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance or weaken the experience depending on your perspective. Like, cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What is gorilla? Oh, that's... <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. <laughs> Me when I see my ops. <laughs> but if you turn on the wrong mod like Brutal Company, it ruins everything. Bruh. Bruh. doesn't know that there's going to be a mine under his feet in three, two, <gasps> one, and... No! <laughs> Our sweet boy. Poor pasta, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got this single frame execution. It may be funny for and it may make Twitch chat laugh. 07's in chat for a real one, chat. 07's in chat. <laughs> God but damn. that's only because you've made the game impossible. Oh my god, chat. That's probably the scariest thing. That has never happened to me in my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm strongly in favor of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth. We must limit test. <laughs> But there comes a point where too much is too much. Like if you find yourself in a game where you can always hear other people talking, no matter your position on the map, the big lobby mod has gone too far. Gary. Um, bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. Yeah, we can. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear, huh? <laughs> Instead of one lobby of 20, how about two games of 10? Four games of five? Five games of four? You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't For myself, I like, I had a group of friends who wanted to do like, like a VTuber collab thing with like 15 people. And I'm like, listen, motherfucker, we are all A type personalities. <laughs> like, there's gonna, bro would just be yapping. And we are, no. <laughs> like, 10 people, I think, is perfectly fine. I think the moment you go over 10, it's, like, a lot. I mean, for example, proximity voice chat among us goes hard as fuck, right? Even with 10 people. Even with 12 people, it's totally fine. It's, like, but if you, like, have everyone clumped together and you get that many people, like, above, like, above, like, 10 to 12, like, chicken, chicken too yappy. And you'll get a chance to do your own bits. I don't care what you tell me. Yeah, yeah thanks to eight people super solid. I agree. Up here, I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs to the bits to the jokes. I used my neural link to exterminate every kill solo owner in existence. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs>
<laughs> Why do you hate the Kia Soul so much? That makes no sense. Damn, I don't want chat to get a neural link. If chat ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia Souls are built like Kingpin from Spider Verse. I stream two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands of you screaming at me about my busted ass hairline really is a dream come true. Aww. Do not forget about the Swow merch at the link below. It's only available for the next 14 days, and it's a this great way to make happy. videos while also making sure happy you have to check. Fresh. And a final shout out to Zeekers for reminding me what kind of power an individual has in 2024. The fact that Lethal Company was made by a single person blows my mind, and I've never spent a better $10 in my entire life. <laughs> I'm gonna die. If I had two bullets and I had Hitler, Stalin, and Digi in front of me, I'd shoot Digi twice. <laughs> what the if fuck? Eric, flat, why is my life constantly going downhill? <laughs> oh, can we need to get homie some therapy? Holy shit. <laughs> That's a jetpack. What is, what is this hatch actually for? All right, there he goes. Goodbye. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> Why did it do that? Why did it do that? <laughs> Why did it do that? I read the directions on the jetpack. It said, we fly shit. high, no lie. You know this, Valen, yeah. And that's about it, dog. The final thing I have to say is thank you for watching all the way to the end of my video. I really hope it defied your expectations. Thank you for hearing me out on the merch, and I am so excited to see what the next video looks like. All you Twitch MFs already know it's Helldivers 2, but I am so excited to start that video. It's not even funny. Once again, thank you so much. You guys give me the greatest job in the whole wide world, and I will catch you in the so next sweet. video. <laughs> I just wanted to make a weird noise just to, like, really mark the end of the video, and I, I guess that works. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, I played pa I played with Pasta for Helldivers too. That motherfucker is a menace. <laughs> that motherfucker is a menace. I cannot imagine what he'll be like in Badger's next video, but God bless that man. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching my reaction to a Badger video, but hey, make sure to support the original video. It is super duper appreciated when you do that because I, you know, I like reacting and playing video games. I like doing both. But I wouldn't really be able to do the reaction side without having awesome content creators like this who are cool with me doing it. So <laughs> make sure to check out the original video. Also check out his merch that just dropped. Uh, I know there's people who ask me about my own merch. I'm not launching it yet. I was going to launch it in the summer, but I'm delaying it super, super further out. Or when my new model gets made later this year. So, for now, buy his instead. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for your love and support always. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!